Hi, this is your math professor, Barbara Rademacher. And suppose we have an x and a y axis. And suppose we have a line. How about a purple line? Graphed right here. And suppose we have a green line graphed here. The green line and the purple line are two separate lines that have nothing to do with each other except for the fact that they happen to cross at one point. Let's make that point red. Okay, now the point at which these two lines cross you would think would be called the point of intersection, and it is, but it has a special name in this case. It's called, let me point to it there, it's called the solution. And what is it the solution of? Well, whenever you have two lines, or two of anything, or maybe three or four or five, all graphed on the same set of axes, those make up a system. Here we have two lines, a purple line and a green line. They're a system. So since this is a system, we call the point of intersection the solution of the system. Now, there's more to this story. Since these are two separate lines, they don't have anything to do with each other, like I said before, except that they happen to cross at one point. Because these are two separate lines, we call this an independent system. Now this would be very important to you if you worked at J.B. Hunt. There, I'm writing this out, independent system. Two separate lines that do touch. They touch at one point that we call the solution. Because they touch, we call this a consistent system. When two lines touch, they're consist they make up a consistent system. All right, so we have the solution of a system, we have an independent system, and we have a consistent system. And that is one type of linear system. Linear means line, and it, this is a system of lines. Okay, now let's draw another axis or another set of axes now this is going to be difficult for me suppose we have a pink line And what color would be good? How about, <clears throat> how about, oh, I don't know, a blue line. Now, this is as close 
to parallel as I can get. And what I'm trying to say is that these two lines are parallel. In other words, they go side by side forever and they never cross. Well, if they never cross, they never touch. And so, uh, they're not consistent. I need to find another color. I don't want to use red again, but maybe I will. I'll use red again. Really should have used that to write parallel. So let me circle that in red. This system, because the two lines do not touch, this is an inconsistent system. It's inconsistent. Therefore, if two lines do touch, like up here, you have a consistent system. If two lines never touch, you have an inconsistent system. Now, on the other hand, these two lines are definitely separate lines. One has nothing to do with the other. So it's an independent system, just like the other system. Okay, now there's one more kind of system, but I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, hi, I'm back. Let's draw another set of axes. And this time we'll draw a kind of reddish brown line. And we're also going to draw a chartreuse. I think that's what that is we're going to draw a chartreuse line. Right on top of the brown line. You almost can't see the brown line because the chartreuse line is right on top of it. This is called a dependent system. Okay. The lines aren't really separate at all. In fact, from a distance, they look like one line. So they're dependent. They are not independent. Now, something else is true because, because the pinkish, I'm calling it chartreuse, that line is right on top of the brown line, touching it. And these lines are infinitely long. They touch in an infinite number of places. They definitely touch, and therefore, this system is consistent. Even though it's kind of weird, it is consistent. Because they touch. Okay, so how many solutions are there? Remember, solutions are where the two lines cross. There are an infinite number of solutions. 
because these two lines touch everywhere for all infinity. Okay, those are the three different kinds of systems, or six, if you want to talk about the consistent and the independent. Okay, but I think of them as three because you, show, you draw three different pictures to show what's going on. So I prefer three. Let's say there are three different kinds of linear systems when we're dealing with two lines. All right, talk to you later.